What's up? <laughs> Are you, you you're going live now? Well, I mean, we can when we start it over. Oh uh, no, go. I mean, we are live, and it is. Are we live, live? Well, I mean, it ain't live, live, but we are okay. recording right, officially. What's up, everybody? I can hear you. We are, we are here. You didn't do any of that. No, nah, well, I mean, it's. Uh oh. Uh, squeaking. Yeah, it's okay. Everybody understands what that's about. So here we are again for another episode. And this episode is episode 25. Is it? It's been a minute since last episode, which last episode I still haven't posted. Uh, Donovan Manuel, but oh. <laughs> Donovan Manuel. Manuel. You just called him Manuel. Manuel. I, for yeah. some reason, I, 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 he was sitting in the so. same spot like as you, and then I was calling yeah. him uh. Donovan Manuel. Yeah, Donovan but that's—I mean—that's what his name is. Donovan Manuel. Yeah, but his name's Donovan Manuel. And then he's an MMA fighter. Yeah, if he went on Univision, amateur be Donovan Manuel. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's not a problem that you call him that. No, he—he he didn't have a problem with it. No. So that was the last episode I had. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. So you're gonna put that one out before this one? Is that what you're nah, saying? No, I'm actually gonna probably since we're gonna recording this one, this one's gonna write. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just start throwing them all on there, yeah, and I then suppose. as I throw them all on there, then they're on there. So yeah. this is episode 25. Here we are again. Ahmad, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Cheers. What's up? Yeah, cheers. We'll do that. Yeah. So this this beer thing might be slowing down. Soon enough or shortly. This beer thing? Yeah, because I plan on you mean getting back to the beer? gym. Yeah, me too. I I'm getting get back. back. Um, I'm been running off and on. Really? Yeah. Well, Running where? Around the neighborhood? No, nah, I've been running in Tom Bass. So it's like uh, uh, three. Yeah. I've been doing two miles, two and a half. Okay. But no, 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 I wouldn't even give myself that much credit. I've just been doing some <laughs> miles. But yeah, I've been running, you know. Okay. Yeah. So You that, run the whole track? Yeah, I run the whole track. Good yeah, man. I just so run. I don't. What, I don't stop. I've maybe stopped once or twice, but yeah, but yeah, I definitely feel it. It's not definitely the cross country has left my body. There's no more. <laughs> I feel it. There's no more. Uh, I can feel my body just deteriorating, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't bounce back the way it used to. <clears throat> but that's good. You're going out there running. Okay, good man. And then right, you know, hopefully in time, time, I'm I'm slowly making it back to. You're doing road work. The gym, to which be the. Fighting gym, so I'm gonna make my attempt at that next month. Uh, just right now, still getting things together, still getting everything together. School is still going, all that. Of course, everything crazy out here in this world, which is why I guess bringing this episode up and just playing it by ear. But you know, like we were just talking about things going on with the election, going from with the election. To not interference. an interference. No, well, actually, I'm not even going to go there. So I'll, I'll go off. I want to know because I don't know. Well, I mean, the the Speaker of House has, is not the Speaker of House is Speaker of the House. Speaker of the House, yes, was removed, which was Kevin McCarthy. Um, that was a lot of people don't really realize how crazy that is because um, you know they're making changes, and these changes hmm. are happening when. I mean, these people are going to be in there for short periods because once whoever takes over the presidency, you know, that's going to definitely change it up right when all that happens, yeah, but you know. Gotta... But until then, yeah, definitely there needs to be a fill-in. Jim Jordan, um, and then I believe there's another gentleman. Jim Jordan is now Speaker of the House? No, they're, well, he's the one that, who's number one in uh, my court. Because... So why did they remove this gentleman? They, they're... He... I guess he leaned more... I'm guessing if I'm saying it correctly, too conservative towards uh, towards the Democrats, which was too conservative towards. I, I I from what I'm understanding is that so McCarthy he, he is was a he, what? He, he was benefiting from both sides, right? And that that was he's really, a Republican, right? Yeah, he's a Republican. And the Republican Party was like, this dude's not working out. What did he Gates, do? That was so Gates bad? Gates was called Gates. Another congressman called him out. And, and he about, was removed. Yeah, he was removed. They got they. When they, did this happen? I need to watch the news. So that happened. Life's crazy. And then along the same time, uh-huh. um, President Trump 
Also, uh, uh, president Trump. Yeah, President Trump got. <laughs> is he still the president? Charged and pretty former much former president Trump. Former President Trump okay. was charged guilty of, I believe. I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't. He was charged. Hold on, hold on. Oh, so let me back up. So yeah, they the, the the case was brought up about his assets being inflated to get bigger loans, which is what made him rich. And they went back in his history to document to check his what the actual values of his assets were, and the judge agreed that how far back are they his, going? Some of his you know, properties aren't really worth what they say they were worth. Okay, I can believe that. Yeah. And so the judge is then turning around and just putting a number on it and saying, yeah, this is what's going on and this is Okay, so, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. All right, okay, so hold on. Let me look this up. Because what is it? What, what? what it's so, doing? so Trump is in, Trump, Trump is. I know Trump has a lot of shit going on, a lot of charges. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot of charges. Yeah. yeah. So along with that, um, Trump, he's very upset because the conclusion on the judges was saying that, like, his Mari Lago property was only worth $18 million, which, you know, that's a big piece of property, which is not worth just $18 million. <laughs> It's worth way more than that. I mean, there's some, I mean, this is a property that's literally off the beach. and So there's that going on. Um Biden, um, there was almost a government shutdown. The government shutdown didn't happen because the government shutdown. Yeah, but that, how many times did that happen? <clears throat> well, yeah, but it's only going to be delayed before Christmas. So in, around Christmas, the government might be shut down. Is it about again. raising the debt ceiling again? No, this is uh, different. This is more about, um, well, it's definitely dealing with our debt, but it's dealing with more on the end of, of uh, passing. Pretty much passing, I guess, the bills that are going to be funding certain programs and things that the government needs. And they didn't agree on a lot of things, so then mm. there was a threat of a government shutdown. But then that's when McCarthy came in and said, hey, no, we're going to do this extension and then do the extension. Therefore, he didn't didn't agreed with the Democrats on whatever he agreed with. Okay. And then the government shutdown was prevented. Right. Therefore. Well, that's good. That, but then that was also, well, nah, yes and no, because uh, the Democrats still, which the funding going to Ukraine is put on hold now. So mm. um, that was part of the deal as in saying that, yeah, well, we're not going to sign off on the funding now, but we'll sign off on the funding, of course, you know. Yeah, did you see that thing on 60 Minutes about the Ukraine? No. Ah, that was very interesting. And all the money going to Ukraine. Well, I mean. all the it, equipment. <laughs> All those Bradley tanks. But see, then again, I don't want to send any misinformation either because that's such a fucking big thing right now. But the whole thing, I'm just pointing out the obvious is like, like you're saying, like money, that that was also a big deal they were talking about. Mm -hmm. So I'm just bringing, I guess, the highlights, which is obvious. A lot of it. I I always like to be truthful on the matter of what I see, which is what is happening. McCarthy, speaker, speaker of the House, got removed. Right. Trump. Yeah, Trump is pretty upset because there's going to be a lot of penalties towards him. But I feel even on that end, he's going to pay the penalties. He's going <laughs> to move through the motions, and it's only just going to break him even more. Well, how more much popular. is it going to be? How much are they trying to get from him? Like what? Well, this is the. I, I mean, they they can dilute most of his property. They can dilute, and and. But I mean, they can literally. <laughs> so this is in federal court. Yeah, I believe so. Has he been found guilty? I don't. To be honest, I don't charged? know if he's in federal court. I mean, it has to be. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would guess, yes, yes, it is in federal court. Okay. But I, I'm just bringing up the whole highlights because this, you know, a lot of people think it doesn't have anything to do with us, but in reality, I mean, a lot of people are going to be pissed, and I just think it just you're throws be more. Nah, You're it's just gonna, gonna throw more. Trump's no, party. like I said, it's just throwing more spotlight to Trump himself, yeah. and and a lot of people don't understand that. And I think like you know whoever's on the back end controlling whatever they're controlling, right? Making these things happen. You think I think one it's gonna or a group of people? Well, no, it's it's definitely you know I mean, because my thing is, who doesn't do that? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, who doesn't do that for loans? I mean, 
Um, Anybody who gets along does it. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't do that? But I'm not. <laughs> Then again, people are like, oh, you're like, go, you know, approach. No, I'm no, no it's a I'm, little petty. I, no, yeah. Well, all I'm bringing up is the fact of if that's the, really what it is. Yeah, I'm just bringing up the outside of what's really like the kind of the of what's going on. Like people need to really see that. Yeah, th- this is almost saying that they can come and take do this to your property or take, you know, and do things. So th- it's almost like an example of what the government can do. Well, yeah, I mean, it's an example of what the government can do, and the government is very powerful. The government can do a lot of things. So, I mean, that's the only other thing I'm bringing up to light is that that's happening. I'm not saying I'm for Trump. I'm not saying I'm against Trump. I'm not saying I'm just saying to light that's what's going on. Then on top of that, you know, um, our government, there's not a lot of a green things going on in our government and it's a crucial time you know so is it a is it a more I, crucial time than any other is. time well i believe it is Why? because i mean we're, we're i mean we're sending money in to good ukraine Lord, to current, yeah yeah, yeah I mean. but we sent money to saudi arabia to fight <laughs> yemen we sent money to fight a lot of people yeah but then but then they're also explaining on the other end is that if there's no money there's no money <laughs> <laughs> if we can't make our bills, then we can't make our bills, you know? Well, we can't make our bills, but the government can make their bill. Like, what bills do the, you know? All that money owed in debt, a lot, most of that's owed to ourselves. It's just very interesting on how all this somehow affects us. Like, I don't see what Ukraine has to do with me mowing my yard or me <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, or me putting it doesn't have I mean, much but the fact I that mean, i'm sure it has a lot to do with when i put gas in my car or stuff like that uh, not, not ukraine i mean if, if it was about gas we'd have been fucking with russia so no it's not about that but it i mean yeah it doesn't but it does i mean they got to do something with all those tanks and a lot of that stuff they were showing that on uh the 60 minutes piece like a lot of those tanks you know they're just sitting. Yeah, they were. Europe. Well, they, 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 yeah, they were. They were just sitting in Germany somewhere. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a. And they're that, phasing those out anyway. Yeah, yeah and they're they kicking the Russians' ass with that shit. <sighs> what? Uh, yeah, and then, I mean, how do we really know what's going on over there? I too, mean, we right? really don't. But the fact that like it's not Ukraine is not Russia now kind of shows you a little bit, doesn't it? And then you know that leader of the Wagner group, you know, a few yeah. weeks back. <laughs> no, you know, that was wild. Yeah. Flying and then all of a sudden his plane just Yeah, it's fools that are really falls in out it, of the man. sky. It's fools that are he's really in it. That that's crazy. Like why would you first off flying in Russia, I've heard is a crazy prospect in the first place, especially flying any kind of domestic Russian plane. Well no the interesting about okay, so also the interesting about that is definitely there was some type of leak and his whoever to let him to let whoever know where he was going and where he was at. Officially. He was in Russia though. Like you think well, Putin didn't know that? Yeah, but I I believe his plane was just. I mean, it wasn't like it was shot down. I mean, there's an actual there's an actual video of it. Like mm-hmm. like just, it's the video. Yeah. Just so so, so what what was on the video? It was just spiraling out. Yeah, it just got hit. By right, some by object they don't know. Not a missile. They don't know. They don't know. It's just like it hit something and then it just went out of the sky. And That's all they know. Nobody. But I mean, knows. but I mean, this is also a trend with with Putin too, though. Putin. I mean, I mean him and him and him and that that leader of Wagner group. They were homeboys. <laughs> well, at one point, yeah. But they were yeah. homies. They were cool. They, yeah, they used to the watch Wagner each other's group. Guy was like, "Yo, I'm about to take this place over." And they were like, don't do that. Man, it's just it's just very dark time. I remember they interviewed fucking Biden after that happened. And Biden was like, Yeah, I'm not I not interviewed him, but he was walking. They were like, Yeah, he's like, Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> they were like, You think it was Putin? He was like, Ah, nothing goes on he, in he, Russia without Putin knowing. He yeah, I mean I mean, but everybody knows that. So the Wagner group guy, man, he was in it, bro. Like some fools is just so gay. So like he died the way he should have died. He, that, that's how the guy if you're over the Wagner group, that's how you're gonna die. You're a mercenary. You're a mercenary. He's what, a mercenary what, in two thousand twenty three. He's a leader of a mercenary army. When I lived in Beijing, China. Did you know any mercenaries? No. No, I mean I, no, what I what I knew, what I did know is that we were told to be just very careful and very 
mindful well, yeah, I mean, you know. of Russians and be very mindful <laughs> yeah. of <laughs> Chinese, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was almost like, yeah. I mean, the way it, it very well hit me like a few months in where I was just like, yo, I'm not. I was I'm born not. in the eighties, man. I I was born in nineteen eighty. I grew up in there. I was a little boy in the eighties, and I'm still uh, sort of iffy on Russians just because of where I came up. Like they were the enemy when I was a kid. We used but to have to do disaster drills. We used to have to get under our desks and do that in case of a nuclear fucking. I remember doing that. I always thought that was for hurricanes. No. No. No, I always thought it was for hurricanes. Go back. The one you did in elementary school? Yeah. No, that was about a nuclear bomb. It was yeah. about a nuclear attack. Get under your desk. <laughs> but I, I, I remember that. Yeah. They were I, like, no, it's about hurricanes. Look it up. It was about the Russians. But, but, let's, let, the let's, but let's really think about, like, even, I mean, that was, that was, that was uh, almost... I mean, was it almost propaganda, or was it almost just like yeah, a some of it was propaganda? Or was it a like, lot of it was real? They or some like, of it was almost like a narrative—a narrative of saying like, "Be you know, like." Well, I mean, they'd been like, the enemy like so long. Out. Like, think about it, bro. Like, yeah. I was born in 1980, so like, 20 years ago was 19. 20 years before that was 1960. Like, that shit was still very fresh. But see, I, I'm and they saying, really were. But, but I, I thought the same thing. But like, until I traveled to the east part of the world, yeah. and I saw it. And 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 and, and and no no I'm just like when you when you see that shit up close like you see that those people themselves too they live in their own bubble you know no oh, like, I call it a bubble yeah, you know that's why we don't mix. they 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 live in their own bubble so yeah. like in their mind they think that's right they think well whatever and that's what I'm saying like I'm almost like open minded to it like whatever I'm not saying what they believe is wrong I'm saying like even the Russians like. They're very like their culture too is very like it's very different. So I'm yeah, saying it's very like Russian. so I'm saying a lot of people who are pro Russian of, of what they're doing and what's going on. Who's pro Russian? You're talking about people here that are pro Russian or Russians? Well, people here or even over there. I'm just saying in general, like people who live over there and they stand behind Putin and they're like, Yeah, go ahead. Do what you do. Do you think anybody stands behind Putin or you think I, Well no, but Putin's a very intriguing figure. But understand, it's it's also it's really not by choice in a way. It's almost like it's in their blood to have to believe that way. So I feel it's almost it's understandable saying that yeah, they they you know they I guess they have to stand by whatever their beliefs are because that's all the beliefs they've ever known, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Same I would I wouldn't want to live in Russia. I wouldn't want to live in. China, but I mean, I would, I would definitely love to visit. You know, it seems like a cool place to visit. Yeah, check Russia. out, bounce well, in. Well, not bounce right out. now. Oh hell no, nah. I want to go over there right now. Hell yeah, no, nah. I want no. Nah. I mean, but Russia's but, frightening to me. But I, I just want to bring up to like people to say like, you know, they, they just they, they see things differently, you know, but don't they see things extremely differently? Yeah, they're very different people. So the I mean, Russians. I mean, they're they're. Uh, but but it, it's a big big story. I believe it even goes way back. Where I mean, it, I mean, there's a lot of history there too. You know. Oh yeah. I mean, there's mad a great history. Deal of history. But it, it, but these things are still occurring. So it's just like it's just crazy because it's just like what? Because yeah, like you said, in the '80s, it was always known, like from movies to pop yeah, culture. Yeah, I mean, you like know? even the movies, the propaganda, like Red Dawn and all those movies. Yeah, like, exactly. That's the one I was thinking about Rocky too. Rocky Four. Yeah, like you know, it's like. <laughs> I mean, even in, even in even in Creed, Creed, you know, I, I kind of felt bad. I was like, "Damn, dude, that dude cannot catch a break." You know, not even the sun. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they, I mean uh, fuck, fuck Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah so, um, so yeah, from that to what else? What else is going on? So yeah, I mean, I, 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 a lot, lot of other different things happening now. Um, yeah, but the war. Oh, Justin Fields. Yeah, but the war in Ukraine. Yeah, that's an odd thing. I mean, not an odd thing, but it's, it's yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, I don't know. Uh, are you pro-Russian? Am I pro-Russian? Yeah. Who do you support in the war? <laughs> you support the Ukraine. I, I really I really don't know much Twitter? about it besides the fact that we're over there yeah. and we're using a lot of I don't of our know equipment. how they know who to shoot. Like it's the same fucking people. 
I mean, I, I give it <laughs> I give it to the Ukrainians for standing by and yeah, fighting yeah. for their country. It's pretty but, wild that happened. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that because I but was they say the a lot of the Russian troops are conscripted anyway. Like they don't even want to fight. Like a lot of them are um, misguided as well. But they're, they're I mean, you know, they're, they're, yeah, misguided. But I mean, if you're in the army and like the president decides to go to war, you just go. So I, mean, I don't know if they're misguided. I think a lot of those fools are going over there for whatever Russia offers is the GI Bill. You know, the fucking triangle backwards R grill uh bill or whatever. I'm I'm curious to know how uh actually I'm curious to know. So it's fools in the Russian army. How many days like, we've I already just want to get war. money to go to college. Who we've been in the war? No, how long we've been there. Who, in Ukraine? Yeah. I mean, how long the Ukrainian war has been going on? Yeah. I mean, some would say it's been endless. <gasps> Talking about going back to the history. But, yeah. Yeah, Putin definitely is not playing. I don't even understand why he wilded out like that. <laughs> you don't think Putin wilded out? You don't think he uh, overreacted a bit? No, but it's in, I mean, his, I guess, it's in you know, his nature, it, though. Well, it's not, I don't even know if it's in his nature. Like, when you think about it, like... Tr- trying to get Ukraine to join NATO is wild in and of itself. So I can kind of understand Russia's. um, I mean, from what I've read and from what I know, I just know Ukraine is not a very economical place to be making a lot of money. You know, I just know it it does. It does what it does to survive. Yeah. Ukraine has wheat. So Ukraine's, uh, I mean, what's Ukraine rank, man? Ukraine's probably pretty rich. I mean, they're saying from February twenty fourth, two thousand and twenty two, which marks which marked the start of the large scale arm attack. What year? Twenty twenty two, February twenty twenty two. So it's not, and it's already did. So yeah, we're so February's gonna be two years. February twenty twenty four would be two years. Mm. Uh, so far. Records go on the OHCHR recorded uh, 27,149 civilian casualties in the country, 9,614 killed, and 17,534 35 injured as of September 11, 2023. Yeah. So, okay. Um, that's, uh, that's a lot of people that's died already. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So that is obvious. I mean, there there is that going on. Yeah, a lot of people have died. Yeah, it's um, crazy. Have you? Hey, do you watch any of the videos? I remember during the Syrian civil war, I used to watch a lot of those videos on YouTube, and the Russia Ukraine war. It's crazy how war is now. It's very. Uh, you can go to YouTube and just find battlefield video. Yeah. Just people being blown the fuck up. Yeah, it's it's uh, wild it's shit. Not, it's not. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. Yeah. And even the shit when you go like deeper into the web and see some of those videos and see what's going on out there, it's pretty wild that you can get like it's 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 way better than the uh, CNN uh, Gulf War footage yeah. when we first. That's that you yeah. know that's when people started loving to watch war on TV. Well, I guess Vietnam really was the first. Uh, well, that that one though that no, but you meet. I mean, like your dad was over there, but people who were over here were like, "Yeah, that she used to come on every night. It was crazy." And then um, they just show stuff from Vietnam. Like I remember when we watched Gulf War footage, it was just uh, planes dropping bombs. Well, no. Speaking of, um, I mean, October third was so October third, nineteen ninety three was the uh, Battle of Mogadishu. Mm. And which is the other, aka uh, Black Hawk a Down battle, Black Hawk Down. Yeah, I guess you can call it a battle. No, it yeah, was. It was. Wild. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to just be an extraction of yeah. uh, of a a warlord that was very. It was very straight and simple. Straight. It was straight and forward. It was uh, apparently a warlord that was keeping food from uh, <laughs> yeah, from the people from the people. Yeah. African and, warlord is a dope thing to be. And and this was in uh, Somalia. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Somalia is a wild place. Yeah, so. Yeah. Right there in the, uh, the east, east. I would say the east part of Africa, right? Oh, yeah. It's the, the very east. It's the horn of Africa is what they call it. 
It's east. It's the part that juts out right there off of Ethiopia. It's east. It's the easternmost point. Well, I guess Madagascar, but it's an island. But it's the easternmost point of Africa. It's the Horn of Africa, Somalia. Two of the hottest girls I've ever seen in my life were Somali girls. Oh, oh, Somali, <laughs> Somali uh, women are beautiful. Yeah, I know. And like when they get over here and they actually get all the nutrition they're supposed to have, it's insane. <laughs> you could go to Somalia with some fucking hamburger meat and <laughs> just feed a bit. Like, okay, there we go. Gabon yeah. too is another place. Is but, but anyways, <laughs> I know Somalia. But, but anyways, wow. uh, October third was the uh, where they were supposed to extract this warlord. Obviously, it didn't go that way, and the whole city turned on the group of. It was an army. Yeah. Rangers, uh, it was. That's a place I'd never go. Where Mogadishu? I don't, no, I don't, I don't think. I don't think. I don't, there is no reason. I, don't, I, I mean, go it's there. probably hard to get. I don't know. Are there any flights? There's no there. reason to go. Where there. do you have to fly through to go? I mean, you want to see some wild shit? You can go. Yeah, what hotel but, would you stay in? Wow. Yeah, Mogadishu. but why? Huh? I don't even want to. I used to know this cop, man, and this fool would oh, yeah. go to wild places, man. Like, this fool took no regular vacations. He would go by himself. He would go to, like, this fool went to Pakistan. <laughs> Why would you want to go to Pakistan? Because he took wild vacations. Like, he would go to, he's been to uh, Jordan. He'd been to Syria. Like he, I mean, seriously, everywhere. like, I feel like unless you're, like, government affiliated, then maybe... Yeah, that but, fool was but, like. But if you're just doing that out yeah. of out of just to do it, there's cool. It's cool yeah. and all, but like there's still that risk that you can get in some trouble. Yeah, well, he was like he had some something. near death experiences in India. He said, well, one night he said he ate some food there and he thought he was gonna die. And he's like, I didn't want to go to the hospital and they fucking pronounce you dead and they sell your, your organs. organs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like what? Yeah, that was known in China he too. He was like, yeah, I was riding the fucking train in India. I'm like, what? Why? He would go to wild places. He went to India and Pakistan. I'm like, how do you even get into Pakistan? He's like, yeah, you, just, you know, you get into Pakistan. It's on you, though. Yes. The red thing just says, please don't go. We recommend you don't go, but they can't tell you not to go. You're like married. I said, the biggest, the biggest. With a U.S. passport. At the, that. the biggest scare to me was always the. Uh, he might have worked for the CIA, though, in the cool. I don't know. Like being in the Navy. Mm -hmm. Like the biggest, like almost like a nightmare was like coming back. And the ship not being there. Like, fucking just gone, you know? Could that happen to people? Like, a they carnival could, cruise? They could. Well, no. No, no, no. It would more happen, like, if somebody wasn't accounted for, then, then you know, they would make a search party. But before the fact, like, if, if considering if you got arrested in Singapore, which, which is what I'm really relating to of what happened, but you get arrested... And you have to stay to to bide the charges, you know. It's not like America, we're like, oh yeah, we'll we'll just get with you, you know. We'll just mail you the ticket, or we'll just get with your lawyer. Right. Hell no, that's international law. Like you're a foreigner and you came into their country and you broke the law. So then um, there was a few sailors that we had to leave in Singapore, but I always thought that was the scariest shit. Like, like just like I would just even know. I, I don't know. I would think it'd be the end of the world. Like you're left in a country. For doing something you apparently did or whatever or accused of. Were you in did, so, so did you chill in Singapore? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where that shit would happen. Like and and there there's a lot of uh it's a lot of prostitution, like in yeah. certain parts. Yeah. And and apparently four, what happened with these sailors, they they apparently like something happened, some transaction between him and the prostitute. Yeah. And then they got caught up. And then um it was two of them. And pretty much, yeah, they got they got held behind, man. They we had we just the ship just took off, and then you know, of course, they're there and wherever they're at, being held by Singapore. Right. I mean, this is the same place where that I think we've talked about this before. This is the same place where that dude got caned. Yeah, I remember that. Remember that back in the eighties, yeah. the dude yeah. like went over there. He was like, yeah, he was spray painted. Yeah, he was spray painted. Well, they thought he was spray. He was painted. supposed to get caned like twenty some times, but they dropped it to like what seven or eight. Yeah, I remember that. They had diplomatic about Kane. They had board. an interview with him afterwards too yeah, fuck about him. being Kane. You know, yeah. yeah. I was like, whatever. What did he say? Was he traumatized by it? Nah, actually, he seemed like he just seemed like he didn't even really. I'd rather do that than go to prison. 
go to jail for even a second. Like, <laughs> what do you say? Like, you can go do two Shit, months, do or you can be Kane. <laughs> oh, I'd rather do neither. Yeah, like that's yeah, exactly. No, but I just don't. Why think, was he I don't spray painting shit in Singapore? I no, remember. it was it was the people that were already doing some shit. But then there, yeah, Singapore. Why was he doing that? Why was he in Singapore? You can't chew gum in Singapore. No, you can't even. You can't. Thing. You can't even spit on the damn. Yeah, you, you can't even trouble. spit on the. Uh, can you spit in the grass? I mean, it's just like you see the place. It's just a very clean place. Yeah, it's clean everywhere. Everything is clean. Everything's yeah. like nice, tied up. There's like, right. there's nobody sleeping on the ground. There's nobody yeah. just walking around with their, you know, like it's just it's no homelessness, no anything. Yeah. It's a very weird place because apparently there's something that they say that they do, or that that they do se- different from other societies. But the no, way I feel, it's just like anything else. They probably just put a curtain over it. They just hide that part, or they just move them to. Well, you said there's prostitution. Yeah, but that, that's but. But Singapore is a very rich. It's not even a country. It's a city, right? Well, no, there there's a place called Four Floors of Horrors. I know. I've heard about the Four Floors of Horrors. Yeah. I mentioned that just a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, you did mention? Yeah, I said Four Floors of Horrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you said real. there's a lot of prostitution. No, that's real. Yeah, I know it's real. Yeah. It's like I an, know it's, someone who's been there. Yeah, yeah. So it's so weird though. It was like a mall. Like yeah, a mall, a mall of prostitution. No, no, no. It's like where it's at. It's almost would be like what you think uh, as a mall. Like you go in, you, know, you go get go some chick brothel. You get some Chick-fil-A, maybe go buy some Levi's, yeah, Levi's to store. And then over there down the hallway, oh yeah, there's <laughs> four floors of horrors. Yeah. Top it off there around eight or nine o'clock. What's the just, biggest pair of Levi's they got in Singapore though? Nah, I'm just joking. I mean, I'm just saying that's how the malls look. It looks like it's in the mall. That's why it's called four floors of horrors. I thought it was literally a four story brothel. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Now so, you're saying they also lease out. They lease out space to brothels, and they lease out space to five seven. No, 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 no. So it's it's still like it's known as a club. Okay. So the AKA name is Four Floors of Horrors. Well, yeah, I, I figured that that wasn't posted. But the four the floors, in Chinese. But there. the four floors are actual clubs. It's one, two, three, four, uh, and it's like a club. Wow. And there's a bunch like of women. Private clubs. But do you there's a lot of women there. You don't even know what the fuck they are though, too though. What do you mean? Are they green? No, they're men. Some of them are men too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah lady lot, boys. Yeah. yeah it's a lot a lot of haven boys. for lady boys. South yeah, Singapore. But yeah. dude, like you like you get almost like scared because it's almost like in a Star Wars. I think you'd know. It's almost like in a Star Wars movie, like when you show up at like one of those bars yeah. and it's like a foreign bar in another country or like in another world or another like it's almost similar to Yeah, but I've like seen that. some of those people on YouTube and you know, I'm not hating, but it's like yeah, I mean, like I don't think you need to be that scared. No, 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 no. I meant like considering like if you're like fucked up <laughs> and your buddies leave you and you're just drunk as shit. I don't know if I'm gonna get that and and you get all in there like yeah. Yeah, no, you don't want to be drunk. I, I always knew that. You'd you never want to be drunk around that shit. Yeah, you end up like shit. You end up in the morning and uh, like because they'll rob you too. Yeah, yeah, they'll rob you too. They, they don't. I mean, they'll they might and they there's also known with the Oregon deal on that shit too. Yeah. They in go Singapore and they try too. To, yeah, well, I mean, I think anywhere overseas. Yeah, anywhere overseas, you're you're pretty much you know you're a high commodity, especially if you're American, and then you look healthy and this and that. No, I don't think that's the case in Europe, but yeah. I mean, money wise, I mean, to rob you to whatever. So yeah, but yeah, that that that's uh, that happens. <laughs> that's yeah. what goes down. How did you did you you went to Singapore? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah to how Singapore. was that? It was cool. It was yeah, fun. I wanna, yeah, I need to go to Asia. It's really nice and expensive, but it's expensive. Oh, really expensive. Yeah. I want to go to Asia though. I mean, I I suggest Thailand. Oh man, Steve, boo. Okay. 34 minutes and already yawning. Yeah, it's late. Man. But yeah, so I mean that got a few more episodes coming up. Also, news up. News of two possible MMA fighters. I don't want to give their names up yet because I don't want to call them out like that because hopefully... Forrest gonna... Griffith and uh, who else? <laughs> what, what? Forrest Griffin, who else? What are you talking about? Nah, it'd be dope if we can get Forrest Griffin. It'd be dope if we Remember got... Remember Forrest Griffin? Mm-hmm. Forrest Griffin and Rampage Jackson if we got them, but that's not who they are. Oh, Rampage Jackson? Yeah, I'd like to interview him. 
I, I don't know why uh, he, he always talked about how, like, I guess Joe Rogan didn't bring him on his podcast. Which is funny. Didn't he go in there once? He's no. never been? No, he's never been on his podcast. Also, who comes to show the Astros have made it to the playoffs? Yeah, man. People hate the Astros. Though. Like, you can't so, get that national. Um, but, yeah, of course they made the playoffs. They made the playoffs, yeah, so they, they the start on again. Saturday. Saturday they start off again. Um, and then also Texans did pretty well last week, Sunday. Yeah, in sports. And uh, everybody's talking a lot of mess about CJ. Not talking mess, but CJ talking Stroud. good stuff. Yeah, so everybody's saying they're, you know, that's the answer to the Texans. Yeah, as long as he can stay away, like we said last week with uh, Ruben, as long as he can stay off that damn massage table. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Stay off that's another Saturday. thing so uh plan on definitely bringing more material as in showing it on this screen and then uh, when next time when ruben's here and then it's gonna be us three with uh material bitty, bitty bop. pretty much what's going on in the news and then make a few jokes about it and talk some mess and uh make a yeah, this Podcast. football game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, man. Um, we were talking about Singapore. Yeah, what'd you get to after that? No, nah, well, I was just saying, like in general, Ooh, about he dropped. He missed that fucking ball, like a fucker. Yeah, man. But um, okay. I heard they like fried chicken in Singapore too, right? Well, I don't know about that. You don't know about that. <laughs> so what'd you do in Singapore? You went to Four Floors of Horrors. No, I didn't go to Four Floors. Well, you walk by it. No, I walk by it. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to. Um, yeah, because you get in a lot of trouble from the Navy. Yeah, but you don't have to. There's bars and stuff there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's bars, but it's, like I said, it's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, and then you know, us in the Navy, we don't even make that much money to even really like going all Were you out. You walking out. around there in your dress whites? Nah, you're in civvies. And then, you know, obviously, you know, you go shopping, hang out during the day. And then, people try to come and speak. And then you to might a, have a curfew. Malaysia to you. Melee. Do people come. Oh, look at you, bro. You yawning like crazy. Yeah, I know, man. That's what I said. It's only 10. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, it is only 10. But, yeah. Yeah, but it's been a long day. Yeah. Long day, long week. Been trying long to edit. Day, long and week. I finally edited. I got that episode up, which was. With Rubes. Episode twenty three. Yeah, well, yeah, we need to hurry and get Ruby. Yeah, I like Ruben, man. We need to hurry and get Ruben. But back. this episode's gonna be posted pretty quick. So yeah, I mean, because we're then, just free balling. This <clears> just and everybody needs out. to subscribe yeah. and also click like if you want to hear like intelligent banter about the Ukraine Russian war. But everybody can chime next in week, and we'll leave a comment about, too. Uh, what do you want to talk about next week as far as uh, on the war front? On the war front. <laughs> yeah, who else is fighting? Is Saudi Arabia still fighting Yemen? No. Um, is that war still going on? No. So another thing right now is mm. that the Chinese is denying that they lost their submarine. Mm. So that's a big news. Did they have now. people going to see the Titanic also? No, it's almost a similar shit. It's almost similar to something like that. Yeah, it was a but military this, submarine. Yeah, no, it was a military submarine. Uh. So apparently... It's so weird on the story. So okay. the story goes that this Chinese submarine okay. was doing trials. Uh-huh. Trials. So there's a booby trap. Okay, boobies. <laughs> like a booby trap, like in the water. Yeah. And it's made to trap U.S. submarines. Or sometime, or somehow, like immobilize them. Okay. By by, it's almost like having it go through a like where it's gonna mess with the the. It's called the screws, which is what keeps the you know keeps the submarine going. It's like the screws, like the little spinner. Ah, uh, yeah, that thing in the back. So apparently, the I don't know. If they they is, went is, in. Is I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. What's that? It's not called a propeller? No, it's called a screw. Ooh. I just learned something. So there's this thing, I guess the Chinese was almost setting up for their enemy. Who, and somehow which enemy? Well that's what I'm saying. Like these 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 things are to immobilize 
the enemy's submarines or vice okay. versa. Okay. But instead, it immobilized their own submarine. Oh, boy. And it, and it cost the whole crew. It, it pretty much, they all died of hypoxia. So the, the story goes is that that something malfunctioned. Something mm-hmm. like, like I said, they went in, they, they damaged one of their, something they damaged, as in they got immobile, meaning they weren't moving. Yeah. And then they ignited something inside the submarine. Because... I didn't do submarines for this one reason. So in the submarine, a gas apparently ex- like ex- exited inside the whole submarine and it uh, killed the whole crew wow, by amazing. hypoxia from 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 poisoning hmm. from poison. And the and the Chinese are denying it. Yeah, like volunteering to go in a submarine is pretty wild anyway. Oh yeah, like um, American submarines, like you you have to be mentally like mentally right in a sense. Because yeah. you, you can go crazy on that shit. Yeah, I don't think you'll be mentally right ever again. So back back in the day, when when they had asked me if I wanted to, I was like, nah. And then I heard other guys that went, like, you get thrown, like, in this, almost like a... A submarine. Yeah, similar. Like a mock one. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, it, it, it fills up with water. Oh, God. From leaks. And your whole job is to, like, go with the screwdriver, not a screwdriver, but some type of wrench and, 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 and close up all the leaks that are coming out. Yeah, then nothing the other, about that but, seems appealing. But then the other, the other uh, objective, too, is to see if, if you freak out, to see if you, if you can't handle the pressure. Yeah, who, who's calm in that situation? Some of those guys like that, though. Yeah. Some it guys, takes all kinds to make the world go around. I'm like, I'm out. I'm glad there's fools that'll get on a submarine and just <laughs> be in the Navy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for your service. I mean, dude. I know they, how important that is. They asked me if I wanted to be a cook in the submarine. I was like, no. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, why would you want to? I don't, I don't want to be in that bitch at all. No. Yeah. So, yeah, so right. that that's possibly going on right now, but the Chinese denies it, which obviously they're going to deny it. Whether, I mean, obviously something happened. Um, so I'll, I'll keep up to date on that too. So I don't even know how I know all this information, but I, I, I guess I do know some of it. Yeah. What, what websites are these on? Uh, there's another one, another page I watch. Uh, Is it Alex Jones? Nah, it's another one called Info Wars. Real News. Yeah. Some other one, Real News. So that. What else? Oh yeah. So yeah, no, that's. I guess that's about it. You know. And, uh, <laughs> Is that about it? Yeah, no. Danny's ready to go to sleep. Look at him. What you got up for tomorrow? Do try to post this one, and then uh, I am um, have a another little job now. So no, oh. no, nah, it's just a, I don't even want to really much talk. No, about I'm not it, saying talk about it here. We're yeah, gonna talk yeah. about it as soon as we cut yeah, this yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's just a little thing, just to make things good by. And then I'm also finishing up this pit. And, uh, you know, You've been welding the pit. Yeah, I've been welding this. What are you gonna this, do with this pit? We're gonna do the comedy and uh, barbecue. No, this one's gonna be sold. No, we already have a pit for that. Yeah, but yeah. So that being said, and then yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start watching the news. I didn't know they were trying to like. I I know that so, so <laughs> I knew they were trying to get a lot of done on Trump. So what else they gonna do to Trump? Oh man, they're just making him more powerful. No, that's what I believe. That's that's what's yeah, happening. They're just making that's people what's... love him more. Yeah, people are just not even gonna want to. And they, he's so good are... at it too. He's so. Some people good are not even gonna being care. Being persecuted. Yeah. yeah. Some people are not even gonna care about it. They're just gonna continue. I mean, what are you gonna do? They're not even gonna look into what's really going on. They're Trump just like, asked I'm gonna for vote for him more. Yeah, of course. Like, why would you? I mean, I've said that. Yes. People root for him, like people right here rooting for the damn Chicago Bears and the Redskins. Ah, Redskins, excuse me, the Commanders. And then there's the other assumption, which I don't know how true that is, but the other assumption is that them of possibly bringing Newsom from Governor Newsom and bringing him as running vice president under Democratic Biden. And remove Kamala Harris. And then, obviously, during the Biden 
administration, like during, if he does get the, win the election, then two years in, he's just going to pass it over to Newsom. Right. And then we have the United Auto Workers. Oh, yes. Union. Yes. The union, which is going to make our cars more expensive and uh, everything more expensive. You're you're against unions? I'm not against unions. It's just like it's like we don't have unions down south, down here in Texas. Yeah, and that's a fucked up thing. Eh, I don't know. (sighs) No, it is a bad thing. Well, but labor the, unions are important. I'm not. I just don't. I, I've never been raised around them, so I just know in construction, there were some guys that were unions, right? And I don't know how those these unions were down here in Houston, but I know they got out of a lot of work because <laughs> they, got they were part of a union, and they yeah, really, they yeah. could point and be like, "No, nah, I can't lift that," because like IBW and all. They're that. like, "No, nah, that looks like it weighs more than." So many pounds, so I yeah, can't lift that. Yeah, I'm not lifting or that. Or that's, uh, or I can't work past four thirty because yeah, I don't. That's my beyond my fourth of fourth of you. And the unions protect you, obviously, but I, I feel in this world today, like it's kind of gone away. So that's still going on, and I know the automakers are pretty mad. Um, but see, also, like I've said it too, a lot of people need to understand the transition right now is happening from. Them not making engine vehicles no more. They're all switching to electrical. Yeah. So that's what's happening. So there's a big change with the automakers, you know. Um, a lot of those those jobs are not going to be there. and It's crazy and sad, but, I mean, you can't change the inevitable. I well, mean, look at how much cars cost now. Like, But that's another thing. A lot of those electric cars apparently are cheaper to make. Than than engine vehicles. I'm sure they are cheaper to make, but that yeah. But I mean, only California is trying to go to that, and there's no way, man. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, we're such a big country. I don't think it's gonna go. No, because you're gonna have to make all these charging stations, and then who's gonna buy that shit? Nobody's gonna buy that. It's just gonna be it, 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 the used car, used gas powered vehicle market is just gonna be insane. Because what about motorcycles? They're electric motorcycles. Yeah, that's yeah. another thing. A lot of people were riding those too, like 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 Suzuki Hayabusa electric. Oh, those? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, but I could see those happening. I mean, they already got electric bikes already, you know. Yeah, but you are talking about little sissy electric bikes, right? Yeah, but these fools, but dude, those things go pretty quick. You know, thirty, forty, fifty. That's all you need. I mean, I've heard some bad accidents on them too, because a lot of people don't think they can go that fast, and they do. But yeah, so. Yeah, so I went over the Trump. I went over <laughs> America. Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. I went over about how China possibly lost a sub and they're denying Yeah, I mean, I have to watch the news, but like, um, I feel you on all those stories, but the news is, you talk about it so, I don't know. Maybe I just care about different things. I remember when I was a hardcore about the news, but I don't give a sh- sh- uh, nothing. I don't care. I mean, we could go. I mean, the, I mean, they're off. I mean, I'm not going to say it here, but like, I, I, I still would love to do some um, questioning and talking about um, some things here in Houston. You know, with, ah. with our own department, or whatever. Well, we but, have a, an election coming. John Whitmire is sending me shit all the time. Yeah, so that's the another thing. Mayoral elections are coming up. Sheila Jackson Lee's <clears> running. <throat> oh boy! So my my school has already forced me to make a decision on who I'm going to vote for. What? Yeah, it's weird. How did your school not force me? But pretty much, I got to like go over what each candidate is going for in the, in, the, in the city of Houston. Yeah, and then uh, see, and then explain my point of that's why. That's very interesting, what, man. Even if I don't, but yeah, but. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't want to get too political on here, but I mean, I can just say I have my. When it, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but that's yeah. that's all in the mix too. I'm gonna run for mayor of Houston one day. <laughs> so that. Yeah. All right. Well, you know. No, we did a good fifty minutes. 50 yeah, fifty minutes. is not terrible. It's gonna be right at fifty. It, but it, but it I'm trying something show. different because I'm I'm getting better on this editing. So 
Okay. I'm gonna try some different. Maybe I can take excerpts out of this. You gonna do some shit like? Oh yeah, you gonna do some shit like Rob Zombie? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How, okay. Well, we'll talk about editing off there. So yeah, 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 it was yeah, fun. Yeah. I mean, no, we no, just but, did this on. But on, but on another idea point. would be. Uh, <laughs> Another, I, I, and I, I mean, I, I guess it would be kind of cool. I mean, just to do it, uh, coming in like a costume or something for this October or whatever. Ah, you want a Halloween costume? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, wear, maybe wear a costume okay. and record. Yeah, man. All right. Maybe we could do that one with uh, Ruben. Ruben. We're going to do a, a Halloween special. I'd do that. <laughs> I'd do that. But yeah, Ruben Medina is coming back. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be back. He enjoyed Ooh. the last recording we did. I enjoyed it. I, had I enjoyed it uh, immensely. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, he was fun. Um, he's well, he, He's coming back. <coughs> Some ideas. I'm also trying to get a bunch of Fury, Fury am, you know, amateur fighters from mm-hmm. Fury. So after they win or lose, I'm trying to bring them on to speak with. Um, it would be pretty cool to have the president of Fury, Fury, Fury Fighting Championship. Like What's that? No, okay. Oh, Joe well, Biden? Yeah, you said it'd be nice to have the president. <laughs> no, uh, he's the, uh, no, I'm talking about from Fury fighting. Yeah, I heard where you were going with it. So, yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. That'd be very cool. So, yeah, man, I guess that'll be it. All right, brother, oh, well. well yeah, I'll let you, I got I to get up and go to work in the morning, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not too late right now, so we'll, we'll finish it off. All right. All right, bud, I'll see you. Hey, man. All right, bro. I'm covering up my ball spot. <laughs> Al Michaels is old as shit. Yeah. <laughs>